Well, I'm stopped at the light here by the bridge, getting ready to cross the bridge, headed for the land of Nada. Like I told you, it's still windy. Uh, I can't reach the Mumbles man. I got a feeling he's already down there. He must have went to crack of dawn or something. You know, time's not a little ten thirty, so some people just like to get an early start, I guess. Okay, I'll know more in a little while. Stand by. I forgot to tell you, I did run into the fast man last night. He had a big fat cell phone of some kind. And some clad, he said. I see another looter down here. Oh, I did see him. I don't see him. Well, he's moved up in the dry sand. He's dragging his scoop. Looks like with a rope. I'll get back to you. Angry. Angry, I say. Looks like a sea turtle got hit by a ship. He's in bad condition. It's all chopped up. Big sea turtle. Or was. We got a pen. He dug a penny. Copper. Copper something or other. Twelve. Thirteen out of the sand. Five cents. Five cents.
Not yet. Man, how are you making out, all right? Yeah, it's all right. It's a good day to hunt. But yeah, nice fighting, nice. buddy. Nah, just some change. Yeah. I came last night and I found a earrings all I found some change. A lot of nickel. Yeah. I just yeah. don't like Five scoops, five scoops. We got ring in the sand. See it? Ring in the sand. I don't know what kind of ring it is. Oh, it's a fit all ring. It's everybody. I was up a little high. I've been working. In and, in and out a little bit, you know, up and down, so it's kind of high. Deep, 16. I got a ring in the scoop. And I'm afraid it's a new age metal ring. You know, titanium or stainless steel or something like that. It's pretty. That's the total extent of it. Pretty. Crapo. Crapo, I say. A lot of depositors have come out and are playing in the depository. I'm going to spend about another 15 or 20 minutes here and I got to go pick up them scissors. Stand by. Stop by and got the scissors. It was two pair industrial scissors. Now this pair, he said, was really, really rusty. So he put them in a sandblast and cleaned them up. They turned out nice. And this pair, these look like identical ones, but they're not rusty. He said some guy, these are big gingers, industrial like upholstery scissors. He said somebody tried to sharpen them on a grinder, and the blades are all messed up. But, but, the best, the best part, the scissor guy made me one of these. Look at that. I guess he knows I'm hunting on the beach. Look at that. Got my name on it. Max. Scoop dragger. Scoop hanger. Scoop carrier. Scoop extraordinaire. Pretty cool, huh? That's the best deal of the day right there. I got that stuff out. I'm letting it clear it off, dry up a little bit, and we'll go to the uh, roundup. I'll get back to you. All right, I may have already got this in here, I can't remember. Sunglasses, pennies, quarters, nickels, dimes, and bling. And crap. That's it. I'm headed to the Chevrolet dealership. Nasty. Not nasty. Extraordinary. Indian. Knives. Scissors. More knives. 
more knives, all restaurant knives. Got to go back tomorrow. Glory. Mmm, pork chop. Indian. I don't know if you cook it this way or not. Four minutes a year in the microwave. You grab this end right here and push the corn right out. It's extraordinary. Everything's extraordinary. Except for the land and nada. Mumbles. Linda video. Started. I forgot. This is a hapless knife. A bush tool. Of all the knives I picked up yesterday. He wanted this one sharpened on the wicked edge. Well, I sharpened it already. I didn't take a video of it. Well, I shouldn't say that. If you want to see a video of it, I'll put the link into my Instagram page. I shot a video for Instagram near the end of it just the 40 50 second uh sharpening thing you know this thing turned out nice i've sharpened one like this before not this one but he has another one similar to it last year i think i sharpened it for him on the wicked edge it's a big heavy knife oh and his other ones are big and heavy too but i'm finished with all of them this is a pocket knife, bubble blade, Chinese junk knife. I shouldn't say junk knife. They're pretty nice knives, but they get rusty real bad. So I call them junk for that reason. Carbon knife, you know. I didn't even know they made a pocket knife until yesterday. I sharpened a lot of straight bladed ones for people around here because there's so many fishermen, you know. It's a big fisherman's knife. And he has a Gerber fillet knife, which is a nice little knife. And another one of these big old knives. He's a good customer. We've seen a lot of his knives before. And two shuns from today. Shuns, I should say. Okay, that's the end of the video. I ramble enough.